Welcome to Nursing School Explain and this video on how to administer a medication by IV push. I have already prepared my medication here. In this case, it's Zofran 4 mg, which is an anti-emetic. And in order to find out how fast you can administer this medication safely, always refer to your medication handbook or drug book. And my favorite is always the Davis Drug Guide for Nurses, which has the, the information very easily accessible. So when I look this up, it says administer the medication over two to five minutes. So I'm going to stick with that. The other thing that I always need to make sure is that the IV fluid that the patient has as maintenance fluid is compatible with the medication. And I've already ascertained that that is the case and because we have normal saline here and that is compatible with pretty much everything. Now, because I don't have an actual IV here, I put my IV tubing in the bowl here so that I'm not um, dripping any medication over it. But we'll say um, for, for demonstration purposes that this port is hooked up um, to the patient. And when I select the port, I want to administer the medication. I always wanna use the port that's closest to the patient. And make sure that you always verify all the rights of medication administration, meaning the right medication, the right dosage, the right time, the right reason, um, the right documentation, and all those good medication rights. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to skip this part. And so now my IV is going here at a maintenance rate. I'm going to turn this on and I can see in the drip chamber that it's dripping. So now I use my alcohol pad and I swab the sport and again for at least 10 to 15 seconds vigorous because this port is otherwise exposed to the air and patients uh, have all kinds of visitors coming in and out. They might drag this part of the port in the, in the bed because it's closest to their, to their IV site. So we wanna make sure we clean this vigorously so that we don't push any germs from the port directly into the patient's bloodstream. So aseptic technique here is key. Then I take my medication and I unhook the needle or whatever I drew it up with and this lure lock is going to attach directly I have to push it first through the rubber and then screw it on there, making sure that it stays. So now I'm going to push this medication over two minutes. So I look at my watch and I can slowly start to push this medication. However, because of the path of least resistance, the patient's vein is narrower in diameter than this tubing and I don't want the medication to go up this tubing I want it to go towards the patient so I pinch this tubing here and I slowly push the medication a little bit at a time as I continue to watch my watch pinching it pushing it and the IV maintenance fluid as it flows through into my patient's vein will carry this Zofran into the patient's circulation. So I continue doing this for two minutes. I'm not going to make you sit here and wait for two minutes, but always make sure that you watch and adhere to the administration rate because otherwise the patient might um, experience adverse effects. So then once I am done administering the medication, I can unhook my syringe dispose of it as well as the needle appropriately in the sharps container and then I'll go ahead and I'll document the medication administration and check back on the patient in about 15 minutes to see what effect the medication has taken and to make sure that it's that they don't have any adverse reactions. Thanks for watching this video on medication administration from a vial. Also check out my other videos in the IV skills um, medication uh, playlist. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.